Hi guys, Cassandra here, your felty godmother. You like my stuff? Yeah? I thought so. Halloween section, thank you. Today we are going to be making a really fun project, uh, this cute little octopus felty. Now, this is a basic of all of my designs, the felty. From this, once we learn how to make this, we can turn around and make more things like earrings, key fobs, all kinds of in the hoop projects. So stay tuned and let's hit the embroidery machine. <laughs> okay, we've made it to the machine. The design is loaded. What I found works best for me, and you might wanna try it as well, I used two sheets of pre-cut tearaway stabilizer, meaning it already comes cut out. I don't have to deal with that weird roll. And I just take a couple off the top of the stack of a thousand. So again, our first stitch, if you've seen my other videos, is the placement stitch. So in any felty design, we're doing that on the stabilizer because that's where we know to put our fabric. So we're just gonna hit go. And I am stitching this single design. machine automatically cuts it so I don't need to worry about anything there. Um, I already have my piece of marine vinyl that again this was one of my little scrap pieces so I'm just gonna put that over there. Oh actually I'm gonna use a little bit of my pattern stick which um, this is an option. You can you can float it meaning you don't put anything on it. You can use pattern stick or you can use painters tape to tack it down. For a little design, you're usually safe um, floating it, meaning just sliding it under there like I had it originally. But I like to use pattern stick because one time it didn't work. <laughs> That's just me. So now we are gonna go to our next color, um, which I could have started with that color had I been thinking about that clearly, but I didn't. So I'm going to load my machine with the black and I'll be right back. Okay, I've just got the black loaded, so we're gonna go to stitch number two. Okay, that just finished embroidering. So what I'm going to do in between steps, I'm not gonna remove the hoop, but I am just gonna trim this so that um, that's just my personal preference so that I don't have to do it later. <laughs> so now if it was a really um, complicated design with a couple of trims or jumps, um, we might just wait to the end. But if, if we want to prevent any overlapping, we definitely want to trim between stitches, but there is no overlapping in this design. It's just that great. So, okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm going back to my fuchsia color that the octopus is going to be of, and I'm just gonna thread that. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna remove the hoop, and I'm going to take my felt, just drop something. I'm gonna take my Little piece of felt. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna use my pattern stick. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just gonna place that right over there. I don't care that it's bigger or odd shaped. It covers the design completely. Got a little whoops. Got a little fuzz on there. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the hoop back on. Again, you can, that bottom piece, you can use painter's tape, you can float it, or you can use the pattern stick. And I just found the pattern stick to be the easiest. Now, last step.
so much fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove this from the hoop without knocking you over there. Okay, now we have that, perfect, okay. So what we're gonna do, here I'm just gonna move you and be right back. So what we're gonna do, very easily now, I'm going to tear away my stabilizer, which you can't do with any other other than tear away. I'm gonna be very careful of my seams. I don't want to rip anything out, so I'm gonna hold down on them and gently pull. If you have to really work at it or you've used just way too much pattern stick, um, you know, just let it go because it's really not going to show that much anyway. So I've used, yeah, okay. So that looks great. Now I'm going to cut this out. perfect this and come right back. And there you have it. We have this darling little guy, little felty, perfect smooth back. And you can see how the principles of a felty could translate into another project, like a key fob. Same idea, same backing, except I've, instead of using felt, I've used vinyl again. But it's just as easy to make something like this as it is to make something like this. So if you think you can make that, you can definitely make this and more. Stay tuned for more fun little projects. What a fun project. Thank you for joining me today. And if you want to be notified every time I have a new video, hit the subscribe button and we will be back with more fun on the way. Have a great day.